Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing SH Monster Arts Little Godzilla. Little Godzilla comes from the 1994 film Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. After the events of Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, Baby Godzilla and Godzilla travel to Birth Island. Exposure to Godzilla's immense radiation causes Baby Godzilla to dramatically increase in size to 30 meters, which is one third of the height of Godzilla. In his new adolescent form, Baby Godzilla is known as Little Godzilla. So, if you all have not done so already, definitely check out the 1994 film Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. It is simply fantastic. But, nonetheless, SH Monster Arts Little Godzilla is another fantastic release in the SH Monster Arts line. Little Godzilla has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, good accessories, and a good range of articulation. So first, let's take a look at Little Godzilla's accessories. Little Godzilla comes with a set of crystals, a pair of bases, and a set of base connectors. So first, the crystals. The crystals have a fantastic sculpt and a very nice paint app going on. These are done in a very nice opaque white translucent plastic material. So this is very nicely done. So we can kind of see through these, but not quite. The sculpt is very nicely done as well. Very nice jagged peaks here, just like a standard crystal. So this is very nicely done. So we have a short crystal, then we have a longer crystal. So both of them are very nicely done. These are not mirror sculpts either. They're both unique. So definitely very cool here. They also have pivoting joints on them. So this comes into play in just a few moments. In terms of the bases, the bases are pretty standard. These are pretty much our Act 4 stand bases, so this is definitely very cool. Now, I'm not really sure where they chose an amber color. They would have been better off using a clear base, but still, very nicely done. Then finally, we have the connector base pieces here, and these are pretty standard if you dealt with our Tom she stands before, too. So, let's go ahead and set this all up. So first, we'll grab our connector piece here. We'll actually, peg that in here to the slot there. Let's push that in like so. Then we'll grab our actual peg holes here, pull those right out. So slot that out and get this one out down here. We'll grab the bases here, go ahead and connect those together. Let's see if we can focus that a little bit too. Just connect those together, appropriate holes. Let's push this one in, that one in. Then finally, we'll grab our crystals here and put those into the holes we just now revealed. So put that one in and that one in. There we have it, so now we can rotate these around. Get that into focus. So we have our crystals here, and we can flex these all around. So this is definitely very nice. We'll grab our little Godzilla figure here, and we'll go ahead and trap him inside. Let's bring him up here, we'll kind of block him in. And there we have it. We can faithfully recreate the scene from the film. So this is very, very nicely done. Absolutely fantastic. So, now we have Little Godzilla's accessories out of the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Little Godzilla figure itself. So now let's take a look at the Little Godzilla figure itself. Little Godzilla has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, and a good range of articulation. Seeing as Little Godzilla does not have any head articulation, we'll start with the jaw. So the mouth can open about this much, so very nice there. The shoulders have a very nice 360 rotation. They can also come outward quite a bit. There's a very nice bend in the elbows here, a very nice rotation for the hands, and they can actually flex up and down as well. In the upper torso here, we can tilt up and down quite a bit. The legs have a very nice range of motion. We kick up very high, so very nicely done there. There's a very nice bend in the knees here, and the feet can rotate ever so slightly. So very nicely done. Now there is no insane tail articulation for this figure, but still what we have is very nicely done. In terms of paint apps and sculpt, this is absolutely amazing. A very nice vibrant green with smooth transitions for the rest of the body. So a very nice scaly hide as well. Very nice stubby scale. So this is definitely an absolutely amazing piece. And of course, the eyes are absolutely stunning and definitely captures the character very well. So very nicely done. Inside the mouth here, very nice adolescent teeth here. So definitely, very cool and absolutely amazing piece here. Definitely cool. So, now that we have the little Godzilla figure out of the way, let's go ahead and do a very quick size comparison. To do a very quick size comparison, we have Godzilla, Little Godzilla, Godzilla Jr., and Burning Godzilla. So, as you can tell, there's a huge jump in sculpt between Godzilla Jr. and Little Godzilla here, so both figures look distinctly different, so definitely very cool here. Now, in terms of scaling, it does seem that Little Godzilla is a little bit out of sorts. He's supposed to be one third the height of Godzilla here, and it looks like he's half the height of Godzilla, so I'm sure there's a legitimate reason for that. In order to make a very nice figure, he does have to get a little bit out of sorts, but still, that is very nicely done. So, now that we have the size comparison out of the way, let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, 
SH Monster Arts Little Godzilla is another fantastic release in the SH Monster Arts line. Little Godzilla has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, good accessories, and a good range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I highly recommend that everyone picks this figure up. Also, if you have done so already, definitely check out the 1994 film Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. It is simply fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.